Good morning and welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph and I am the host of this show, a show that's dedicated to progressive rock, hard rock, heavy metal, and other forms of rock music. So this is the show that we do every Sunday, which is called This Week, and basically it outlines all the stuff that's going to be happening on the channel this week. So all of my shows, all of my series, and any other thing that is necessary to uh, let people know what's going on. So we're going to start out by talking about uh, the various daily shows or shows that go on regularly and then I'll talk about the series at the end. Okay, so this week we have Ben's Album Challenge, which is a bi-weekly show, comes out every Sunday and then I alternate that with other shows that may fit in um, periodically like my once a month uh, album cage show but uh, that's not happening this week so it's just Ben's album challenge the album that he's chosen for me this week I've now listened to three times got a couple more times to listen to one more time uh, I listened to it fairly seriously yesterday I'll listen to it one more time this morning and then I'll do the um, full sit down listen to it critically i guess if you want to call it that i don't really call it that i just call it me paying attention which is probably what it is um and the album is by a progressive rock band from the early 80s part of that new wave of progressive rock i guess you would call it and this band is called iq the album is wake uh, strangely enough uh, i had heard of pendragon i know about um Marillion and even Palace, but I had never never heard of this band in all the years I've been listening to music It never came up once until um, He mentioned it and then I went and watched a Sea of Tranquility or SOT if you prefer Watched an episode on they're doing their favorite progressive rock bands A to Z and I went back to the I one and sure enough They mentioned it, you know, I, I don't watch that show um, a lot. I have periodically watch it it's it's not that i don't like it i like the show quite a bit it's just you know there's only so much time in a week and you have to choose pick and choose the things you want to do and i just often don't really have time for it so anyways um this is a band i've listened to the album now three times so i'm getting a real sense of what it's about i like it quite a bit um and we'll get into that when the show comes and uh hopefully uh Hopefully people will enjoy this episode. Okay, so um, the second show that usually comes during the week, it's usually the first show, but in this case, because we have a Sunday night show, it's going to uh, come second. That's the Monday night look back at a classic rock album. This is the one where I go more into depth with whatever album I happen to be doing, how this, uh, the, the, uh, the stats on the album itself that I think are important to know, plus, the group members and what they play um, on the particular album and then do a track kind of a track by track what I like and don't like kind of thing so for most of you who see my look back still know what I'm talking about uh, and this week's album is going to be this one yes is going for the one um, it's one of the classic ones I have yet to do um, and uh, get a full re review of that. I've listened, I listened to it yesterday. Probably will listen to it maybe again today if time permitting. The next show that comes up will be the Wednesday Night Favorites. Um, so I went back and I've now kind of looked through my lists. I, I have a list of all my favorite bands and how I feel about them and that kind of thing. I keep it in a binder and I went back and checked off all the ones I'd done because you know, it's, it's tough whenever you've got to go back and look and see what you've done and not done. It's better to just have the list checked and then you know what you did and what you didn't do. So one of the bands I wanted to do and haven't gotten to, uh, their top 10 songs, and that will be from the Rolling Stones. And I was reminded of it because I did a series video this morning on, um, well, actually I did it last night, released it this morning, on the Rolling Stones Emotional Rescue. So top 10 songs of this group the rolling stones i use this album as a prop for today um a fairly fairly extensive uh, list of songs here might be a little tough once i get to doing it um only because I've, i like quite a bit of the rolling stone stuff but i haven't 
have to say I haven't been following the Stones much in probably a decade or maybe two decades now. I was bigger on them when I was younger in the 80s and yeah, pretty much from the 70s to the 80s, late 80s, maybe a little bit in the 90s as well, but pretty much have faded, they've pretty much faded a little bit for me. So maybe this will revitalize them a bit. So there you go. Top 10 songs of the Rolling Stones for our Wednesday night favorites. Friday night live experience. I'm quite looking forward to this one. I found a, a video concert of this band that I didn't know existed. Um, and it's really good production. And uh, they do about an hour of them doing music. And I was blown away. I was, you know, I, Usually when I'm watching these kind of videos, I'll kind of pay attention a bit and do some stuff and pay attention while the music's in the background. This one, I sat through the whole thing front to back without budging. I was just gripped by how good these guys were. I did not, I, I had known, I was beginning to get a sense that they were better than they were. I knew the guitar player and the keyboardists were good. I was surprised by how good the bass player was and how versatile they all are and how many different instruments and how good they are at all those instruments so anyways we're talking about gentle giant live and the concert is called the sights and sounds i think that's what it's called definitely gonna need my glasses for my tiny writing <laughs> yeah the sight sorry sights and sounds in concert it's a uh i think it's a bbc production so uh Anyways, that will be my live video for the week. Uh, one of the truly great progressive rock bands. I've heard the term criminally underrated. You know, underrated. Like you get every person, you, you look at every video that you watch and every song that you hear or every album that you follow or every group that you look at, somebody, if they're not Pink Floyd or they're not Led Zeppelin or they're not the Beatles, one of the top bands in the world, then it's always underrated, underrated, underrated. And everybody thinks that somebody else is underrated. And for the most part, in a lot of cases, maybe they are, I don't know. But I think the term is vastly overused, and so I try not to use it. But in this case, these guys are what they say is a criminally underrated. Like, this band, if it had been big at all, would have been huge. If they'd had one hit or one album that did well, they would have blown right up. They are so good. At least instrumentally, they are fantastic. The biggest thing about them too is that their uh, their writing of their music is so integrate, integrated with each other and so well orchestrated that very few bands have this ability and they just possess it and they're instrumentation is is off the charts too so anyways i wanted to give them some attention and this is a perfect chance to do so so gentle giant live sounds and sights or what is it sounds and oh my god sights and sounds i got it backwards sights and sounds um a bbc production so we'll do that one for friday night okay so then we have our series we have seven videos for the week the first one's already come out this morning if you've been if you've been following you'll have seen that it was the rolling stones emotional rescue um, we have six more coming i don't want to tell you how they're ranked it kind of some people kind of like to guess they kind of get like a little game with them and that's good guess all you want i love it so we've got six pretty solid albums uh i looked at them i've been trying to give them the numbers just so i know where i stand with them and all of these albums are twos for the most part some of them could have rearranged some could be a little longer in the week some could be a little shorter the point is i like them all quite a bit this is a probably a notch up from the last two weeks first week was stuff that i either hadn't heard before or i hadn't heard for a long time and a lot of them were stuff that i had kind of liked a lot or i hadn't known about and and i like a lot now so um, a lot of them were threes, and there might have been a one, one or two or something in there that wasn't too bad. The next week was pretty much the same, except for a little bit more nostalgic type stuff um, from my past, and uh, not as much new stuff. But this week, um, 
yeah, some solid albums here. Um, I would go as far to say is that I liked all these albums at one point for different levels, but I liked them. Um, the one that went this morning, Emotional Rescue, uh, a good solid Stones album. Unfortunately, it comes between um, the this album, Some Girls, and the uh, Tattoo You albums, which I think were a little commercially bigger and well-known albums, so it kind of is sandwiched between them, and unfortunately it doesn't quite measure up to either of them, but it's still a solid album. Um, in that time period, from the from the 60s right through to the mid 80s, the Stones produced really pretty solid stuff. There's no real bad albums, in my opinion. It started to wane a bit after that, but pretty much pretty solid album. And then the other stuff is all pretty solid here too. Um, it could have switched with tomorrow's um, episode, but for the most part, the other uh, the other albums were a little bit stronger um, there's a couple in here that could have switched around like the three after that could have switched with each other and then the top two could have switched as well but anyways it doesn't really matter they're all coming in on this chart fairly close together so you know talk to me tomorrow they might change sometimes I change the order <laughs> because I say you know I, I really do like this album more and maybe this one I haven't known as well, but I'm not as big a fan of, or I really liked this album a lot in the day, and maybe this is coming on a bit more. You know, that kind of thing happens, you know. But I try to I try to put things in a kind of an order that people can um, can kind of accept as being uh, pretty much permanent for that particular day. Um, next week's, of course, uh, will be fairly lengthy it's going to be you're getting really some really pretty solid albums mostly twos maybe a few ones next week so for this week though mostly i think they're all twos yeah they're all pretty much twos just different levels some are a little lower mid-range twos some are a little higher twos uh, the last two are probably pretty close to uh, high range twos anyways i hope that you um uh will enjoy this week's episodes um what else do I got to tell you for this week? Uh, so we have one more week um, after this, and then there'll be a break for um, a period of time. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work because there'll still be a couple of episodes left in the series. So I, I may do the series all next week even tacking on the two that are supposed to come out on the Sunday, Monday for that, and then probably maybe an honorable mentions show i may i may do one i may not i don't know and then there won't be any shows for the week that week other than those ones because i'll be away on uh, holidays for that week i'm just letting people know in advance that's probably how it's going to go of course nothing is written in stone but we um i like to let people know in advance so that they're not wondering what's going on that's the way i am i like that when people do that for me as well um, that's why I like Sea of Tranquility. It always has that show that tells you what's happening and you always know what's going on. So that, you know, you say, oh, you know what, I really want to watch this episode. So you program it into your day and you're able to watch it. And that's what I like. And I like the same with uh, some of the baseball shows. I like quite a few baseball sites as well. And there's a couple guys that really do a good job on that. And I watch them regularly. So that's the way I am. Some people like random stuff. I, I don't mind the random stuff once in a while, but... Pretty much I like scheduled and easy to follow. And when you look in their playlist, you see uh, what what comes next. So you're not scrambling around and wasting your time trying to find something that you wanted to see because it fits with something else you've seen. Okay, so I've, uh, I've given my spiel for the day. I hope that you have a good Sunday. Please like and subscribe to these, this show. Um, it's much appreciated. Um, it, you know, and please make comments too, like um, any comments on anything that you want to see or something that you're not sure about or if you've got any questions or anything you want to correct on my thing. All these things are great because it makes the episode good. The only thing I don't want to see is people who just want to trash me. If you just want to trash me, 
you know, find something else to do with your life. I just don't have the time for it. I won't even respond to it. Some people will and try to correct you on stuff, but I don't have the time for it. I would rather spend the time on people who who are interested in what I'm interested in and have legitimate questions or, or a le le legitimate criticism or legitimate this that, you know, helps the show. Because if, if it helps the show and it's better entertainment for everybody and pretty much, uh, and it prom promotes the music, which is, is I've, as I've said, the primary purpose of this episode, of this particular channel is to promote this music and give love back to something that's given so much time and love to me in my history. Anyways, I hope you have a good week and have a good day. We will see you tomorrow.